Good morning, guys. I am opening up a young coconut for Allie for breakfast. So she's going to have some of this and some of the cantaloupe that I chopped up. And I'm not really feeling hungry, so I think I'm going to wait until I get to work to eat. Hey, that was actually a lot of coconut water. Good morning. Good morning. Mr. Raymond is uh, opening up some coconut before he leaves to work. I can't wait to eat it and consume it. You have to wait an hour. Oh, wow. Well, but, uh, coconut water. I'm pretty sure you can drink coconut water, uh, right? I think so. So you should be able to drink that. And then this, you have to wait. Well, that's fun. Sounds good. I'm excited. I can't wait. Ah, delicious. <laughs> He's got to go off to work, and i got to go work in a little bit as well. I don't have to go into my first house until 9.30, but whatever. So should this just sit out? Yeah, just let it sit out, and then I'll eat it later. Look at my tools. He's very um, efficient nice. tools. <laughs> Alright, i got to go to work. Alright, I love you. Love you too. These guys are on the verge of starving, like always. They've never eaten so late before in their entire life. And they want everyone at home to know that, that I abuse them. This is the face of abuse. Mr. Black left for work. I just got done washing dishes. And I'm going to sit down and edit the vlog from last night. And eat the coconut and drink the coconut water. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I'm a little nervous for testing on Saturday. I tend to not get positive pregnancy tests until like way late. I feel like my baby is like me to procrastinate or it's like, oh, I have anywhere from X amount of days to implant. I'm going to implant the last day. But I don't know, I'm a little bit nervous and like I said yesterday, I had some cramping but I don't feel like I'm pregnant and the only time I've ever actually really truly felt like I was pregnant was the first time and that loss was at what nine weeks and I don't know I'm a little bit afraid because I know every pregnancy is different and you know whatever but I that's just I felt that way the second time around too because I felt like I was pregnant during my two week my wait week and but it didn't feel the same it wasn't as I suppose you can say intense and whatever and I mean granted both of those times I wasn't you know timing around what time I felt what and this that, and the other so maybe in my mind it has just become warped and just has become something completely different maybe I didn't even feel that intensely Maybe it was because it was my first time that it felt that intensely and I didn't know what to expect. But like I said, it just scares me. And I have moments where I think I am. But then whatever I was feeling, whatever symptom, it goes away. So I don't know. But like I said, I'm just afraid. I just, a part of me wishes that if this pregnancy isn't going to stick or whatever, even not just this one or like ones to come in the future, I just wish it wouldn't even happen, that I wouldn't even get a positive pregnancy because even though that is that's upsetting in and of its own, I, it's just even more upsetting to first get a positive and just to lose it. So like I said, I would rather, I would rather it not happen at all and I mean everybody's different. Some people are like, no, I want to cherish it and this and the other. but. I don't, it's like I'm one of those kind of people that either wants all or nothing, so if, you know, it's not going to be nine months and it's not going to be my baby at the end of the day, then I don't, I don't want it and I'm sorry and that might sound really bad, but whatever. So, like I said, I'm a little nervous, I'm a little scared, a part of me doesn't even want to start testing on Saturday because I really do think it's going to be too soon and I just gotta chill because I just gotta relax and chill because regardless of whether or not I get a negative this month we still have you know next month and this and the other so everything will be fine it's just uh, a little nervous and a little nerve-wracking so I don't know I'm nervous but I'm like I said I'm 90% positive that it will be a negative on Saturday 
and it would be a miracle if it even showed up a faint line. I'm pretty sure that I won't even get an accurate reading until Tuesday, which is the day my uh, period is supposed to come. So, I don't know. Yeah, and even then, I think I might even get an accurate one until Wednesday, because I think that's how it happened the first pregnancy. So, whatever, but now I'm waiting. It's 8.24. And I'm just waiting for my mom to come pick me up so I can go to work. And uh, yeah, that should be fun. Got a, I got three houses today. And it wouldn't, we wouldn't be getting out so late if it weren't for the fact that this first house doesn't want us until 9.30. So whatever, you, what can you do? And then also, it's one of those kind of houses that's like all the way on the other side of the world. Oh, I don't have three houses. I have four houses today. Never mind, it is a full day. <laughs> Eating some melons before I go to work. I'm just trying to take a chill pill just overall in general I just get a little bit upset and emotional obviously as you can see from the last video or the last clip but I don't know I have to stay strong and I know that and I know at the end of the day everything will be fine because I won't stop until I get what I want yay but I don't know it's just I don't know I'm nervous but if you know if if Blastoids is in there, then great. And if he's not, then great as well. So I don't know. And then I always feel so bad for Raymond because I feel like I don't know. I don't know what I feel like. I don't know if I feel like maybe some. I mean, granted, I know how I feel like, and I'm just beating around the bush. I feel like this is my fault. Because I guess unintentionally it is. So the girls are barking up a storm or gawking up a storm. They're wild. But I don't know. And Scarlett's over here trying to make them feel better. Thank you, Scarletta and Quincy. But um no and I don't know. I just gotta keep my head up and I'm sure going to work today will make me feel so much better because I'll be so busy at work that I won't have a chance to think about everything I've been thinking about. Low key, this dog has always reminded me of Spunky. Spunky without a tail, obviously. Alright, just got out of our uh, first house and me and my mom are gonna go eat uh, lunch at Life Kitchen. Yay! I got myself a lemonade and my mama Sita got herself a ginger orange chia seed. So I'm excited to try it. I can't wait. Looks delicious and nutritious. My big self, I got myself some uh, tofu tacos again. I can't wait to eat you. Hey guys, I got off of work and I came home to an empty house. I mean, I didn't really forget, but Allie went to work today and she's going to be at work on Friday and... Monday as well, possibly Saturday. She has a possible house Saturday, so it's just like weird because I almost got used to her being home every day when I get here. So I'm here, and the pups are ready to be let out of their cage. They've probably been in their like little enclosure all day. Well, not probably. They definitely have been in their enclosure all day. So I'm going to let them out and um, just chill with them for a bit. Maybe think about what I'm going to make us for dinner. Who do we have here? We've got a Scarlet. We've got a Quincy. We have a <gasps> Juliet. So we have a Juliet, a Quincy, and a Scarlet. Ooh, get those itchies. Get those itchies. Guess who's finally home? Me. It is. Raymond's in the way. It's 5.56. I'm super tight. I'm so glad I ate at Life Kitchen. Because I'd be dead. True story. Does the Ali Chan have a new symptom? Uh, yeah. What is it? My bra is literally hanging above you. It's because she's naked behind the camera, you guys. Whatever. I stripped her down. Shut up. <laughs> but, um, so? Uh, so she's crying. Is she's it very like... very emotional. Is it, uh... It's pregnancy crying. Is it? Yes. Why? Is it crazy? Yeah, like she's just emotional out of nowhere. What was I doing just two well, seconds ago? Well, not out of nowhere. It's for a reason. Sadly, my aunt's dog passed away like last week, and now her other dog is in the hospital. 
and he likely has the same thing that our dog passed away from, so it touches Allie in very special ways. You're such a jerk. I want to, like, <laughs> Hadouken you, dude. No, I mean, it's sad. Uh, but, yeah, she's very upset. Yeah, because it is sad. And I love these little guys. And she wants to have them to li- She wants all dogs to live to be 50. <laughs> Not even just dogs, like animals in general. They should all live to be 50. Yeah, but then Raymond brought up a good point. What was that point? If each dog, you know, if a large breed dog can have 12 puppies and each puppy lived to be 50 years old, what would our world look like? No, about if you, everyone who would want a dog, how to get it really Oh, young. yeah, so if you wanted a dog, you best get a dog when you're like 10 or 12 and have that dog for the rest of your damn life because what, are you going to put it in your will? Ain't nobody wants your dog. Everybody's dog lives to be 50 years old. Say goodnight, everybody. Good night, everybody. I hope you had a wonderful day and you enjoyed watching our vlogs. If you can, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.